Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Today we're going to talk, do some self-care on air, on live. We're doing some self-care. We're going to well, show and tell about some self-care that we just did. And today, uh, my self-care was in the form of shopping. So we're going to do a little show and tell. So stick with me. This is very unconventional. But we're going to do an episode on self-care. And we're going to give you a live example, on air example, of what is the result of my self care. All right, so stick with me. We're going to start. So, we're going to start off with the stuff I bought from Amazon. And I've been on a seven month no buy journey um, for essentialism and just buying what's necessary, not anything that's needed. But I had a hiccup. My birthday came around, and I started buying things. I had made a choice that buying stuff would not be a source of self-care for me because of how often and frequent I did it, but I didn't do it for seven months, and I bought a bunch of stuff during my birthday time as an excuse that isn't my birthday, so that's really not an excuse. Um, if your self-care practice or thing you do to unwind stuff is not healthy for you, don't don't participate in it, in it too much. It is not um, going to bring about uh, the positive effects that we're trying to get. But not shopping for seven months and doing it that this time where I've been shopping a little bit has made me uh, feel a lot better, you know. But I know that I'm going to return back to my vow of no shopping before it gets out of control. So right now I'm going to show you the stuff I got off of Amazon. I've disciplined myself. To be able to just buy the necessary things. And these are little gifts to myself that I bought for my birthday. So the first thing I'm going to show you is these um, storytelling tactics. And it's a box of cards um, that's supposed to teach you how to tell stories better. Like um, flash cards, okay? And it says, dish the dull presentation tell great stories so when i was growing up i was in a rhetorical contest and i used to or i would in speech competitions or i had an easter christmas and all those type of speeches so i felt i was really good at public speaking and then all of a sudden i wasn't you know it's just um something that you don't um do often you you lose especially if it's not natural to you i had to learn to be comfortable to speak and those um, things when I was young and kind of just lost it um, and so these are just like a little fun way to help you organize what you want to say organize the story you're trying to tell there's 56 cards in here and they were written by Steve Rawlings and illustrated by Dave Hill it's from the pipe deck series and you can find these on pipe Dicks.com. You just pick a card and you follow the instructions they have here. It explains how you're supposed to go about using these cards. And they, they're going to show you that you're going to get better at storytelling. And then they have another one it's called Try Our Recipe. And it helps you to combine all those different stories, like ingredients, to solve a problem. Their structures is um, around eight pillars to their, um, to their uh, storytelling system. Stories can change the world. See which problem you can solve by combining different story tactics. So like anything else, you just having these cards with you will not like put the, you have to practice the activity. And they recommended that you practice this three times. And then I didn't say they, that they want you to do it three times when you start to use your card. But it doesn't say daily, but I guess you could do it daily, weekly, whatever it is. Um, do it three times to solidify it in your head. Got these. The Motivation Manifesto cards by Brandon Burchard. He's a motivational speaker and coach. Um, he has tons of 
books and stuff on getting organized. And these are his um, motivation cards. Just to go along with his book, The Motivation Manifesto. And these cards are like affirmation cards every day. You take a card and you read it. And you can probably write it in the journal that he that comes with the series. And, you know, have a, if you can't think of affirmations, you can always use one of those. Then we also have the book. Um, Motivation Manifesto. And this is nine declara declarations to claim your personal power. Also by Brandon Bouchard. And it's the number one bestseller author. He's the number one New York bestselling author. New York Times bestselling author. It gives you the nine declarations to cl claim your personal power. And I plan to read it. Kind of help you get organized. So it's about getting your life together. Get it together. It has nine declarations to claim your personal power. This is the, the planner. So this is a different series. It's um the high performance planner. So this planner is for people who can't get right. <laughs> that needs some more organization in their life. That productivity seems to go outside the window sometimes. When people see me, they say, oh, you're very, you're very organized, you're very um, productive. I don't feel it. I feel disorganized if anything is not the way I was able to do the things I was supposed to do. So this book is to, it will help you to see all the things that you need to do and put them in um, perspective so that you won't be overwhelmed doing too many things and then you get what you need to get done. So every day... You're going to follow these prompts. Every morning you have a, make your plan. Every evening you execute, execute your plan and say how well it went so you can get prepared for the next day. And this the plan, planner. This planner is for um, 60 days. And it was, these things are not like really cheap, but um, they weren't, they weren't so bad. They weren't over $50 or anything like that. But um, this could be as expensive if you want to use it for the whole year. You will have to buy six of them in a year. Because they're for 60 days. But um, and it's, it's good and sturdy. And it's big. I like, if you if you like big uh, journals and big writing, you write big, this is good. If you want to carry this around a lot, it may be problematic if you don't have a briefcase or bag that you carry all the time. And then, this is the journal to accompany the planner. And it's a prompted journal. It gives you a prompt about what to write every day. And it has, um, it's dotted. So, because so, some people, like me, when I journal, I doodle too at the same time. And I'm, or I uh, write my things in some kind of like pattern or chart or, um, trail you know make a maze of it and, and that's how i organize my thoughts sometimes so it'll be more i guess doodling or whatever and then i'll write whatever i wanted to write in the room and that is my thing for amazon i got this I, I don't know why i need this but if i was going somewhere that was going to be warm but it, it, i'm never that one to be having a fan. But this is the neck fan and the thing is pretty powerful. It works really good. This one is really good. And it's a handheld one. And you can charge it or you can charge up the battery and take it with you. Both of these you can do that. And it's very convenient, especially if you're having hot flashes or something like that. That might work for you. Okay, so we got that. That is Amazon. That's all we have to use today. And so if you're watching this from Shape Your Truth podcast, don't forget to shape your truth out there. You got plenty of it. You got plenty of it to tell. So get it in shape. Get it ready. Get it ready to share with somebody else. And if you are thriving out there with us, we're going to thrive together. Okay? So see you next time. Bye-bye. And I can tell you, I had three trips that have totally reset um, reset me. It was a great way to self-care, um, a great path I did. We went to Cabo, and then we came back. Then we went to 
New Orleans, and we came back, and we went to San Jose. So, I did a good job this quarter of having a good amount of self-care, even though I kind of messed up on my no buy year, but it's okay. We are making great strides toward that. That helped me, uh, you know, feel a little bit better. Feel like I was doing something. On all three of those trips, I was I met some really good people, really kind people, and um, it was a good time. And it kind of helped me see that you know there's still kindness in the world. You know, it's not always uh, rough. You can find calm. You can find calm wherever you are. There's other people looking for the same thing. So that is all we have today. So this is my self-care practice. What have you done for your self-care? Okay, what, what you doing? What we gonna do? I did a little retail therapy, you know, and I bought me some hats. I bought me some room spray. I brought me a fan. I bought some clothes. I bought some makeup. I bought a bag and I bought some little keepsakes. These are the things that I like. What do you like? When you go, when you have experience your self care, what is it that you do? Are you doing self care regularly? Because you need to. You need to. It doesn't have to be this. It doesn't have to be spending money. But you need to set aside a time to do some self care. Now you can have a self care practice that you do every day or every week. But you need to be intentional about having a day where you are doing a self care activity every month and you're going to thank yourself later you're going to really thank yourself because when you're not doing those things and all the chaos comes and more things get put on your plate it's going to overwhelm you okay and you're not going to be able to do the best you can for other people and you might not even do a good job okay and or something else will go lacking and if you do that enough times you will find some burnout you will be dissatisfied with what you, what's going on around you. You you you. It'll take you a little more time to recover from those little chaoses in your life. And what you do when you're in the chaos, you find whatever that is was was your comfort. And for me, that would have been food. So, if I keep myself organized, I keep myself relaxed, I keep myself um, in a place that I feel cared for and I feel well. I'm caring for myself, um, then I won't have to be using food to fill that um, place. So that was all I wanted to say about self-care. I want you to go get some self-care. Even if you want to go to a spa or something like that, that would be good. Or a walk, spend a little time with your dog or you and just go with your kid. You can go get a manicure, pedicure or grab them nice pajamas that you've been saving and have that bubble bath but take some time take some time to just breathe relax so that you can be ready for the next day you can take it on with all you have and um at your best and be able to do give your best and give it the right amount of attention so that's all we have to use today. And so if you're watching this from Shape Your Truth podcast, don't forget to shape your truth out there. You got plenty of it. You got plenty of it to tell. So get it in shape. Get it ready. Get it ready to share with somebody else. And if you are thriving out there with us, we're going to thrive together. Okay? So see you next time. Bye-bye. Shape your truth, pretty girl. It's time. Glamour and grit in every rhyme. Stand tall, heads high. No shame. Feminine power.